Iceland fans celebrated a tie against soccer giant Argentina. Many consider it one of the biggest achievements ever by this team. This is a country of only 330,000 people. It's the smallest population out of all the World Cup teams, and it's their first time making the tournament. So our next guest has a special connection with the team. You could say he has the thunderclap in his veins. That's because he just so happens to be related to virtually all of the players. Len Islofsson is a Manitoba MLA, and he joins us now from Brandon, Manitoba. Welcome to you. Thank you for joining us this Sunday. Well, thank you very much for the invitation. It's a pleasure to be here with you. All right. So... Let's first start off with Iceland's FIFA World Cup debut. Sports fans were just shocked and impressed by Iceland's tie with soccer giant Argentina. What did you make of their performance? You know, I, I thought it was excellent. Uh, you know, you go out in these performances and you share the, the idea is to come out and uh, win. But I think when we, we take the field, that's a win already. And to come out with a 1-1 at the end, to me, that's a huge win. And it just it just opens it up so that we can do even better going forward. Okay, so now what you've told our producers is that your father took a DNA test and you guys found out some pretty stunning uh, revelations about your connection to this team. Tell us about that. Sure, it, it wasn't a DNA test. What it is is there's a, a company out there in Iceland. It's called Icelandic Roots. And uh, he's been heavily involved in the family history, the family tree, the, the genealogy for quite some time. And through Icelandic Roots, they were to, able to do a trace from our family with all the members of the Icelandic uh, football club and came back that at the time, uh, which would have been, uh, you know, about six, eight months ago, uh, 19 members of the team came back as being related between a, uh, a third cousin to an eighth cousin. And that number now that we're in the games, I believe is, is more like 23 out of the 24. So how does that change the way you cheer for the team now that, I mean, you're pretty much related to all of them. <laughs> Well, yeah, well, just just about, and you know, I'm a I'm a big uh, baseball player and uh, football player and hockey player, and uh, when I look at soccer, it actually had me jumping out of my seat yesterday when we scored the first goal. So uh, yeah, it, I, to me, it's it's an opportunity for uh, to bring all uh, Canada or Canadians that are Icelandic and heritage together and and under one big roof. And I, I would even go beyond that when you see the number of people cheering for Iceland uh, as an underdog, as such a small volcanic country. It's just opened up the, the world to soccer for so many fans. And there is a strong connection between Manitoba and Iceland as well, we should point out. And Iceland's Consul General in Winnipeg actually presented you with an Icelandic World Cup jersey. So what did that gesture mean to you? You know, it, it, it meant a lot. When, when I stood in the house a few months ago, and we have the ability as, as uh, upper benchers to pr provide a private member statement. And when Iceland qualified, I took the opportunity uh, because it was so exciting to to go forward and and make this announcement in the legislature and congratulate the team. And uh, I had the uh, the general from uh, Iceland in as my guest, and uh, yeah, he reciprocated the favor by coming into my office last week. And you can see the jersey over my shoulder there. Uh, that's the one he came in and presented to me on behalf of the football club. So it was really exciting, and it, it just brings us that much closer together. And very quickly, last question for you. We've got another game with Iceland coming up on Friday against Nigeria. There was a huge shock against Argentina. What's going to happen in the next game? I'm going to say it right off the top. We're going to win. 